If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. You are uh, officially on the clock. Go do uh, some sports radio. All right, thanks, Nestor. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, preseason football and what it really means. And, I mean, we go out there and the Ravens, they played, uh, they played well. They played well. But uh, what I want to know is, Ravens fans, you went to the game. It was raining. You paid 50 bucks. You might have paid 100 bucks to go see the Ravens. And Joe Flacco played two series. He played two series, folks. Why would you go to a Ravens game to see Joe Flacco play for two series? And you see Mark Bolger fumble. And, yeah, Mark Bolger looked okay. But I don't want to see Troy Smith play football. I want to see Joe Flacco play football. I, I was having a conversation with my dad over this weekend. Because I was tuning in. I, I have NFL Network. And I, was, and I was watching the Seahawks and the Titans play, and I was just wondering, why are the people in the stands? The third, the third string people are out there for the entire second half. Why are you watching this football game? It's, you're paying a hundred bucks to watch what is essentially a practice. A hundred bucks for a practice. I can understand maybe going to a Ravens Steelers game where everything is fired up and you hate the Steelers, and you want to be out there yelling at the Steelers, you want to be yelling at the refs, and you want to be encouraging your team, you want to be encouraging Joe Flacco, but it's, it's, it's Troy Smith. I don't care about Troy Smith. He's a third-string quarterback, okay? Now, I really wonder about the, where the sport of football, how it's going to be affected by, by technology in, in, uh, nowadays. I mean, HDTV is making football attendance, it's, I, I suspect it might go down a little bit. I don't know. The, the demand is there. And, and I just think that casual fans like myself, well, I wouldn't consider myself a casual fan, but fans that don't exactly have the money to go out there and have season tickets, we're not going to go pay 100 bucks to go see a Ravens game. We've got the HDTV at home. I can sit, sit on my couch. I don't have to deal with stadium traffic. I don't have to waste five hours of my time when I can have a cookout at home and don't have to sit in the pouring rain at Raven Stadium. I mean, I don't know about you, Nestor, but that game on Thursday, I, um, I wouldn't want to have been there. I don't want to be there. I don't want to pay 100 bucks to watch the third-string quarterback. You know, I, I don't care enough to, to pay 100 bucks. I, I, it comes down to me... How much money are you willing to spend to see this team play and to see a third string quarterback play? Now for an Orioles game, I can kind of understand it. It's only six bucks, only ten bucks to go to Orioles game, and you know it's nice out. It's in the summertime, but Ravens, it's during Baltimore winter. It's in the Baltimore winter. It's freezing cold in December. I don't want to be outside. I'm like Rex Snyder. I don't like the winter. I want to. I want to live in the South. Well, I like Baltimore, but. I, I don't want it to be cold. I want it to be summer all the time. And Baltimore summer, a Baltimore summer night is a great time to be outside and be at the Orioles game. That's what the Orioles have going for them. I know they don't, they don't put a good product out on the field, but I just wonder, Ravens fans, are you really willing to spend 100 bucks to see Mark Bolger play football? He's not your quarterback. Joe Flacco played for two series. Joe Flacco wasn't even out there in the second quarter. I just, I, I just wonder what exactly is the point of preseason football at this point. And, and I, don't, I don't really, you know, I understand why people want an 18-game season. Because I, I watch the game, and I don't understand why people would be there. That, and that's, that's really all I had to say about the Ravens this year. And that's not to knock diehard Ravens fans. Look, I, I love the Ravens. I just see it as, why are we paying $100, $100 to go to that game? Because we're forced to. Well, well, poor sucker's license. That's what it's all about. It's the PSL, baby. That, well, well, yeah. That's the way it is throughout the league. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is going to be one think, of the interesting negotiating terms next well, year will be the 18-game schedule. I do think that, you know, HDTV and the way that, that you know, big screen televisions are coming in, that I really think that people staying at home is going to happen more often. Well, it's I less, mean, less people to fight with, less money. Yeah, it's all less that, sure. money, and you can switch over to the other game. Well, you know, you don't have to miss the 4 o'clock game if Ravens are playing at 1. For many people, it's ritualistic to go down yeah, and no. tailgate and yeah, have a good time. Mean, it's part of their I life. I understand, yeah, it's the experience. But it's not bad like, watching it on TV. The collective experience, sure. but I just, 
I can understand if people don't want to go because they want to have a cookout with their buds and drink some brews back back at the back at the house. Right on, right on. Well, uh, Doug, it was it was good having you uh, uh, do your thing. You want to wrap up and say I'm well, Doug yeah. Newton for WNST. Yeah, you can find me on WNST.net. You tweeter too? Uh, I do have a tweet, a tweeter, a Twitter, a Twitter, Twitter. Uh, it's uh, Doug, and then it's oh, Newton. I want to look okay, you okay. up. D O U G. Yep. D O U G. Yep. E N W T, and then a zero, and then an N. How the hell am I going to find that? Put it on your Facebook page. I'll I will. I will. It, it, just search Doug Newton. I'm sure it'll come up somewhere. Doug of Catonsville, of Princeton, and of the WNST intern department. Well done, Doug. Thanks, Nick. Well done. Thank you. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.